Last year, we saw the release of the incredible Galaxy Note 4 and the Note Edge. Samsung improved quite significantly upon the device's predecessors with multitasking capabilities that no other phone could offer. This year's Galaxy S6 was even better while some incredible features like removable back and expandable memory were sacrificed, it showcased an incredibly well-built glass body, which gave it a premium feel that we have long been asking for from Samsung. And with the S6 Edge, Samsung declared itself as the innovative company. Now it's time of the year when Samsung releases the Beast. Not only outcasts every other smartphone on paper, but also gives the user experience and capabilities like no other phone can offer. Yes, we are talking about the next king of phablets, the Galaxy Note 5. The Note lineup has always been a way of Samsung to set the limit for smartphone world. They did it with the very first Note, which was quite a gamble for Samsung at that point of time and continued the legacy ever since. While the rumors floating around the internet, Note 5 is set to continue that legacy. So in this video, we will be summing up all the leaks and rumors about Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the successor to the Note Edge. Just like in 2014 IFA Berlin, Samsung is expected to release two flagship models later this year. As of now, these flagships are internally codenamed as Project Noble for the Note and Project Zero 2, which is the dual-aged version that could be named as S6 Edge Plus. Sam Mobile has also leaked out the specification sheets with the model numbers G920F for the Note 5 and G928S for the curved variant. Now let's get into the design aspect. Last year, Note 4 improved significantly upon its predecessors with a better build quality and higher resolution screen. While there has not been much leaks regarding the design and the build materials, based on the previous releases, we can expect that the Note 5's design will be based on the S6. According to a Chinese site, there is a good chance that the Note 5 will use a similar design to the S6, with the metal body bonded to the glass. That would mean that the Note range would lose the soft touch plastic but also lose the interchangeable battery. An alternative is that the Note 5 might retain a similar design to the Note 4 with a metal body but with a removable plastic back. And while talking about the curved variant we mean the S6 Edge Plus which is the bigger version of the S6 Edge with improved features, reportedly Note Edge 2 has been replaced by this variant. Next up, the display. Samsung devices have always reached out to the extreme by pushing the limits when it comes to resolutions. Last year, Note 4's QHD display with a whopping 515 PPI and this year's S6 display with 577 PPI gave our eyes a pleasant viewing experience. Since the Note lineup has always tried to take things to the next level, both the Note 5 and the S6 Edge Plus could feature UHD displays. That means the resolution would be 3840 by 2160. Phone Arena and Sam Mobile have reported 4K displays which will supposedly have a non-standard pixel matrix known as the Diamond Pixel, promising a record-breaking pixel density that are completely invisible to the naked eye. To back up this claim, sources of Sam Mobile claims that Samsung is ready to produce two displays. A 5.78 inch display for the potential edge and a 5.89 inch display for the regular Note 5, giving the displays an incredible pixel densities of a whopping 762 and 748 ppi respectively, making them the first smartphones to bring 4K experience. This would totally mean living in the future. I've done a separate video on futuristic smartphones, for which I'll leave a link below the description. Coming back to the display, Android Authority has denied these claims and said that Samsung will stick to its QHD Super AMOLED display considering that 4K panels can drain down the battery and is not so practical since naked eyes are not capable of differentiating between 2K and 4K. But it's debatable as Samsung has gone to crazy limits in their product regardless of its practical use and also Android M now supports 4K displays. So you never know what they might come up with. Next up, the specifications. The Note Edge lineup has offered top of the line specs for the smartphones for a really really long time. Note 5 will undoubtedly pack top of the line specs as well. While Samsung has already ditched the Snapdragon processor and relied on its own Exynos processor since the Galaxy S6, Note 5 will also be housing an Exynos processor. 
According to Sam Mobile, Note 5 will be housing an octa-core Exynos 7422 chipset, which is the company's first ever all-in-one solution called EPOP. Exynos 7422 will combine the CPU, GPU, RAM, storage and a modem on a single chip which means better integration for faster and efficient processes for a better battery life. It will also be paired with the improved version of Mali GPU. While Project Zero 2 device is expected to feature a hexa-core Snapdragon 808 processor paired with Adreno 418 GPU, both of these phones might house a 4 GB of RAM. Though I feel Samsung might stick with the 3 GB of RAM considering it's more than enough as stated by Sam Mobile. On some other small changes, Samsung is expected to improve its fingerprint sensor. Samsung certainly pulled off the fingerprint sensor with the S6 and the S6 Edge and with the Note 5 they will certainly tighten its security allowing mobile payments through Samsung Pay. Next up, the camera. While the Note 5's camera remain in the dark, Sam Mobile have stated that the S6 Edge Plus will pack a 16 megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization and an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Rumors from various sources suggest that the Note 5 will be housing the same sensor camera that you get with the S6, bumping up the megapixel count to 20. Samsung did pretty well with the S6 camera. That suggests that they will not compromise on anything with the upcoming Note's camera. Now, the storage. With Note 4 available in 32GB variant only with expandable memory, Note 5 is expected to feature a 32GB entry-level option with an expandable memory of 256GB. However, if they were to sport S6-like design with non-removable pack, Note 5 will be available in 32, 64 or maybe 128GB options. However, according to Sam Mobile, the S6 Edge Plus will feature a 16GB base model but made no indication towards memory expansion or availability of larger memory. Next up, the software. With the new touchways on top of the Galaxy S6, Samsung trimmed down the bloatware to the minimum level, giving 40% faster user experience. Same is expected on the Note lineup as well. Since the S Pen and the big screen are two unique aspects to the Note lineup, how Samsung tones down the touchways in the Note 5 will be an interesting thing to look forward to. As Android M is still on the beta phase, it's likely that the Note 5 will be running Android Lollipop out of the box. Next up, the S Pen. A Note wouldn't be a Note without Samsung's beloved S Pen stylus. Given the Note 4 doubled its S Pen sensitivity over its predecessors, it is expected that the Note 5 will adopt the same presser sensitivity with additional features. According to Sam Mobile, only the bigger version, that is the Note 5, will house the S Pen, as S6 Edge Plus will only be a stretched version of the current S6 Edge. Sam Mobile also suggests that the next Galaxy Note handset could come up with Auto Eject S Pen which basically means that the users won't have to pull the stylus out. The handset is going to push it out on its own. This technology has already been patented by Samsung. The patent reveals that this technology uses magnets to achieve the desired results. There is a magnet inside the S Pen and other magnet inside the device. The magnets will snap firmly when the stylus is inside the device. Samsung may tie an auto-eject feature of the S Pen to a certain voice command or perhaps a button or a gesture drawn on the displays that's going to bring out the stylus. Sounds cool. Definitely looking forward to this one. And now the bigger question, the battery. Many sources including Sam Mobile and G for Gamers have predicted that the Note 5 will house a 4100 mAh battery which is a significant jump from Note 4's 3220 mAh. This makes a lot of sense if the Note 5 is housing a 4K panel and a battery-hungry processor. According to the Chinese news site, Galaxy Note 5 is going to have a USB Type-C, which will exponentially increase data transfer as well as charging speeds. USB 3.1 Type-C offers the transfer rate of 10 gigs, which is double that of USB 3 standard. Type-C cables also offer 20 volts and 5 amps of power as opposed to 5 volts and 1.8 amps of power. This means users won't have to wait as long as they previously had for data transfer and charging. Now for the release date. As with all previous releases, this year's release is also expected in the IFA Berlin, 
which is being held from September 4th to 9th. Previously, the devices were rumored to be released by the end of July, which was denied by Samsung's president J.K. Shen. So it's safe to assume that both flagship models will be released in the first week of September with public release within a month or so. The price is expected to be around $800 for the base variant. With all these incredible rumors, Note 5 is set to be the powerhouse of smartphone world. But there is still some time till Samsung officially clears the air over these rumors. Up until then, we will have to wait and see if Samsung manages to surprise us and still manages to keep the title as the king of the phablets. So that's all for the video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments down below stating what you feel about the Note 5 and S6 Edge Plus. Stay tuned for more. I will be coming up with videos like these and I will catch you guys in the next one.